Hey, welcome back to Web Squadron. How many of you have been in that position where you go to your website and you try and looking at a page and you get like an error? Maybe it says something like, we can't load your content up, or you get a message that says, please, uh, you must view this page in safe mode because you can't edit it. And sometimes you kind of go, well, I haven't got any incompatible plugins. I haven't added in or updated anything recently, so what's going on? Or it might be that you have made some changes on your website, okay, and you go to view them on the live website, but they're not there. And you kind of go, well, what's going on? You know, um, I've, I've made sure I've done the edits. I've even gone into the edit with Elemental. The changes are there. So what's going on? Let's show you how to really, really quickly try to get to the bottom of that with a few simple steps. By the way, I'm Imran Sadiq, part of Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe and follow us on all of our social media outlets. We're here to help you, your business and your clients as well at the end of the day, get the most out of Elemental and WordPress. Right, so we're looking at the fact that you may do some updates on your website or you may come across a problem and you're following all of the tips and tricks that you find on the internet but you still can't work out well what the problem is. Sometimes the simplest thing you need to do is purge your cache. So over here we have like, I use all to optimize, I will delete the cache. Do, 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 do. I have WP fastest cache as well, delete all cache. Do, 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 do. That will all do that for you. Sometimes I will go over to SiteGround where we do some of our shared hosting and I will go into site tools and there's a function called mem cache. I will purge that. Purge, 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 secret powers, boom, 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 okay? And I come over to Elementor or my WordPress site and I'm still seeing the old page or I'm still getting an error. By the way, I'm not talking about WooCommerce errors where you go to shop or product, okay? And you get told the content is not viewable. That's because you need to create a template. Don't just go to pages and go into your shop and try and edit it. It doesn't work like that, okay? So I'm talking about where you've done some edits, but you're still not seeing them. The simplest, simplest solution after purging, okay, is to go to Elementor, go to Tools, all right? A lot of people, when, when I tell them to do this, they kind of go, what, where is it? And it, because it, it's not clear it's there, but Elementor, well, WordPress, Elementor, Tools. You go to Tools, and the first option you're gonna get after you go in is regenerate files and data and also sync library as well, okay? What, it tells you what they do there, okay? Basically, it's gonna basically kind of run through the site. It doesn't even take long, look, watch this. Regenerate, it's done. Wow, what? did it even do anything? Sync library, that's done as well. And I always say after you've done that, you might as well just go in and purge again, just purge, right? You know, go for it. Hey, look, we're, we're purging, we don't care. What, in like, Less than 10 seconds, probably was longer. I bet you're gonna now rewind the video and watch and go, hey, it was longer than 10 seconds. But let's just say 10 seconds or so, you've done regenerate, sync, and you've purged as well, right? There is a very, very good chance now that when you go to your page, okay, whether it's edit with Elementor, or you're now viewing your site live, whether it's an incognito or whatever, you should now see those changes. And problem solved, except, there will be the odd occasion when you do not, okay? And sometimes that could literally be because of your internet router, router, whatever you wanna call it, modem, ASDL, dial-up, its IP address for your router has kind of latched itself onto a parallel universe state of being, right? It's, it's latched onto an IP address and it will not let go of that and it's gonna keep showing you the old page no matter what you do. You'll load up, you'll put on your work computer and you can still see it. You'll go to your mobile phone and you can still see the old website and you're pulling out your hair at this point. Because edit with Elementor, when you're editing, you can see the changes. Live version, and you've done all the steps I've just told you. My biggest tip is this, okay? What you do is you get your mobile phone, okay? You get your website, okay? This is a smartphone. You go outside, so you're not now using your home internet, ethernet, Wi-Fi, whatever, okay? And you check your website 
because by that time when you're outside you'll be on 3g 4g 5g whatever it however it is in the atmosphere okay in the world if when you do that you can now see your live website okay that is a sign that it's your router okay if you are still not seeing that issue okay double check with your host okay because again it could be that your host server is still latched on to an old IP address somewhere else as well okay so and sometimes you just got to wait overnight and when you wait overnight okay the site will correct itself but if all is lost 24 hours later no matter where you go inside outside whatever wi-fi you use you're still not seeing your changes i recommend you install this plugin what you do is you go to plugins helps if i'm there add new and you are going to search for wp optimize okay let me type that again i'm so sorry for that you know i should have typed that in much better wp optimize this one here wp optimize cache clean and compress okay uh, it's by david anderson ruhani rabin and team updraft <laughs> you should close the door because you've got a draft no right what you do is you install this and you activate it of course okay just like any other plugin it's totally free right we're going to activate it i am only going to use this for one thing and one thing only i am not using this for any of my caching or anything like that and once i'm done with it i'll probably deactivate it. well i will be deactivating it because i like to use auto optimize now when i go down to wp Where's it gone? WP Optimize, there it is. I'm gonna to go to Optimize. I'm not gonna mess around with the settings. I'm not gonna mess around with anything like that. Okay, and this is all I'm gonna do, okay? There's loads of different things you can do, but all I care about is this here, database tables. Because you are using WordPress. And if you have gone through a state of life where you have added plugins, removed plugins, added themes, deleted themes, um, added in add-ons for Elementor, or taking them off, you've messed around whatever with your website and you have deactivated and you have removed those plugins, there could still be a ghost sitting on your WordPress. Something that is just stopping the live version from showing what your edits are. Okay, you're probably going, you're talking rubbish. Yeah, I do, that's my job. But trust me, we, I've had a couple of people I've helped out where this was the issue, right? You go through everything, you even check with the host, but you still can't see the live version. You get WP optimized, right? And I'm actually only interested in this top, this top, 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 this top one, optimized database tables. But you might as well leave all of these ticked. Don't tick anything that is not ticked, okay? Leave the rest, but just make sure these are ticked. Well, they are automatically. And what you're going to do, is you're going to click run all selected optimizations it could take two to three minutes to run just let it run right once that is run purge your cache right purge 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 regenerate your css if you want i always say do that anyway i sometimes do that like if i'm if i'm working on a website i will probably be hitting purging the cache every time i've done a big change or change the page layout and I will be regenerating as well. It's just force of habit. I like to go, Ch -ch -ch -ch. I have done it. Once you've run this, okay, I would be very surprised if your live version is not now in sync with your edit with Elementor. Okay, I'm not going to load up an example because I haven't, it have, I haven't got it occurring on any of my sites or client sites at the moment. But if you come across this issue, purge, Regenerate CSS, sync your library, okay? Delete your memcache or varnish or whatever you use on your server, okay? Do all of that and then WP Optimize, run this because it will basically clean up your database tables, okay? Find the ghost and exterminate it, all right? That's what you want. And when that is done, you should be okay. I'm Iran Sadiq, I'm Web Squadron. You must like, subscribe and follow me and keep up to date with me or I will find you.